Hello, I'm Deb Mogelson and welcome to Mogelson Art Videos. Today I'm going to be working on Perk Me Up, which is a 24 by 24 inch acrylic on canvas. And it's number four in the coffee cup series. We're going to get started right away. I've got a lot of things to do today. So um, let's get to work. All right. Okay, so there's actually five things I want to do to this. First of all, I'm going to add a little bit of orange um, orange red up in this area just to wash. It's kind of dull and I just want to um, warm it up just a little bit. And then um, I'm going to add um, just a little more orange and a brown in this area. Maybe add a little bit of yellow in this area right in the, in the liquid part of it. I'm going to make the cup more opaque and I really like this teal color here. So I'm just going to kind of put that teal, not the whole thing, but just add touches and highlights and um, just so this cup uh, is unified as one as one shape. And then um, I like this blue trim on the cup and so I'm going to keep that and then lately at the very last I'm going to add the swirls. So let's get that wash put in right now. I'm going to grab my big brush and I'm not using any white because I want it more transparent so I'm going to use a lot of water and I'm going to just bring that in the background back here and I'm going to gray date it out in other words I'm going to add I don't want it all the same so I'm going to add more water and then just soften the edges a little bit here and it's bubbling up and that's okay that'll that'll be fine I'm going to bring that out to the other side over here and soften my brush strokes up a little bit. Add a little more red down at the foreground and I'm going to gradate that out a little bit too. This is more cooler over here but I want to brighten it up so I'm going to add a little opera over here on this side. So I've got a warm red over here and a cooler red or pink on this side. Just to variate that a little bit. I might just add a little touch of opera over on this side just to add a little more variety as well. Add a little more on that cup. It's fun to just start seeing where you're going and ask yourself different questions like what if I did this, what if I did that, and just kind of play around with it. Alright, now this liquid I'm going to add marigold and a little bit of blue and I'm going to darken that up a little bit. It's really blue right now so <clears throat> I'm going to come in with some more gold. And of course it's turning green so I'm going to add some more orange and it's really wet. So I'm going to lift up some water because what happens is if it's too wet the color will just float. There we go. That's what I want. And then that's just a base color. I just wanted to warm it up a little bit. And I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to add a little highlights in there like some yellows and just real, real small highlights. This purple is real strong and I didn't want it that purple so I'm going to add blue to it. I'm not worried about the edges. And it looks a lot better with the blue than purple. Now it looks, it looks like it's all together there, but once I make this more of a teal color, you'll see it, it'll all come together here. Now this is another wash of teal. I'm letting the background of the yellow come through. Tighten up that bottom part. In other words, when I say I'm going to tighten up, I just 
create the shape a little bit better so you can tell what it is. Even bring that color into the into the cup itself. It's really wet right now, so I'm going to have to let it dry. I might even have to come back and um, do another little video. I was hoping I could finish it today, but I might not be able to, and that's okay. Oh, I like what this is going on here. Too red. Just pick that up with my brush. See how I'm doing that? But I like the definition down here, so I might have a little more. I'll try a little pink and see if I can bring that and make some definition there too. And with each layer of color, it just adds more variety. Wait for it to dry a little bit. And I'll come in later on and I'll add the detail of the cup itself. Now while this is drying, I'm just going to come in and just add a little more color to these squares. I have my cat fur on my brush here. If you have animals, you're going to have fur everywhere, and that's what I deal with at my studio every day, is either dog fur or cat fur, but I don't mind. And this is again straight from the tube. And I'm not worried about having it perfect. I'm just kind of laying it in here, covering up some spots that just need to be brightened and the shape needs to come together a little bit. And I want to have this a little bit bright back here. And the reason is, is that because this value is just about the same so I'm going to add a little bit of yellow right along the edge here. To pop out that cup. You notice I'm not painting every little square. I'm just adding a little bit of yellow where I just think it needs to be brightened a little bit. My swirls are going to be lighter, so that's why this is darker right here. So once that dries, I will put that in, but I can't do it right now because it's just too wet. And I don't use hair dryers. They're too loud and I really don't care for them. So I'll just let that dry on its own and that's um, how I do that. Okay, I'm really liking this so far. So let's try and work more. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow here. I just need to brighten this up over here. Still really wet. I love the way it's mixing with the color that's already laid down here now. I'm adding a little more opaqueness of this color to the 
coffee itself. Okay, we'll come back in a little bit. Now this is a little bit of a problem right here, so I'm going to fix that. The square is the same value as the coffee cup. And to change that and pop the coffee cup out and make it move forward, I just need to change the value and make this darker. And since that is almost the same too, I'm going to bring this right alongside of this. And I'm not going to go to the whole square. I'm just going to gradate this a little bit. Make that solid. And then this square, I'm just going to gradate it. In other words, I'm going to go from light to dark because I don't want this whole square to be the same color. And I'm also going to come over on this side and make this darker as well. And I'm going to gradate that square too. And then up in, up in this area I'm going to just make it a little darker. That's still really wet so I have to be careful. But this I can make it just a little bit lighter on this towards the left side. But sometimes you need to carry that color into the next square just so there's a continuation of that shape. Again, I'm using a watercolor brush just because I need to have some detail and my acrylic brushes sometimes don't do the job. Okay. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is start on the detail of the cup and then we're going to finish up and put in the steam using a little watercolor brush because I need that detail again. I'm going to take my finger and just kind of bring it alongside here and again I'm not too worried about having it perfect. I'm just going to an outline just to add a little detail to the cup. It's all completely dry. The blue also acts as another value that will create a little more darkness where I need it. It just is, um, you need those lights and darks to pop out your painting. down at the bottom here, I'm just going to bring this around just a little bit on this side. I'm not going to totally bring the circle around. I'm going to add like a highlight of the darks, if that makes sense. Just a little touch here and there, not too much. Now at the bottom here, I'm going to add a little bit of, of a wash down here just to make it weighted. Okay, and to add a little more shadow. So you can see that. I still like all the transparency of all the colors coming through. So I'm just going to leave that. But on some of the areas here, like on this side, on the right side, I'm going to add a little shadow and I'm going to use this brush 
to create that shadow. All the way to the top. I'm going to smooth out that brush stroke with some water. this to be a band. I've got too much water in my brush here because watercolor brushes really hang on to the water. And so I need to get rid of, I want more of a wash and not a opaque pigment here. So I'm going to just take that off because I still want some of that background to come through. Again, I'm going to add more down here on the shadow area. And then I'm going to soften this line, blend it in. Now for the steam, I thought I'd do an orange, just because I've got such warm colors down here. And I thought it'd be fun to have a little bit of a punch in the liquid here. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange into the coffee liquid area. I'll load up my brush and this is going to be fun because it's morning and I really haven't had my coffee yet. I have sometimes a cup of tea. Sometimes it's good to have your coffee after you do all this detail stuff. So we do the swirls. I actually have the swirls already in here. And down here I'm going to just again soften this edge. Maybe pick up some extra because it's a little too thick down here. So I'm going to just pick up extra. And there you go. I think I'm done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.